to fix latency variation in Rocket League is actually really simple and you just need to download this TCP optimizer. Now you're going to want to download this. I'm going to be putting the link in the description so don't worry you just download it from there. And once you've done that you're going to click TCP optimizer 4 which will start the download process. You want to go through the download process. You want to open it up. And once you've opened it up make sure you run it as administrator. And then, as you can see, put it on custom. And for your connection speed, put it to 100 plus megabytes per second. It doesn't matter what connection you have, how fast it is, just put it on 100 plus. Now, for modify all network adapters, you want to turn this on. MTU, put that to 1500. For TCP window auto tuning, put that to normal. For window scaling, Unisticks, you're going to want to put this to CTCP. For receive side scaling RSS, you want to put that to enabled, enabled, and then time to live 64, easy and capability disabled, check some offloading, you want to put this to disabled, and of course you just want to follow along. Most of this is disabled, and you want to click apply changes, but make sure you click no for the reboot. We'll be doing this after. Next you want to go over to advanced settings on the top and you just want to input what I'm writing here. So 10, 10, 4, 5, 6 and then 7. This will definitely fix your lag guys and make sure you're just following along here. But make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to be uploading some more latency variation videos. We're going to make sure that you get the lowest ping possible. I'll also be uploading Rocket League news, so make sure you do subscribe with notifications on for the latest updates and the latest news for Rocket League, but also make sure you're able to play it with low ping. Make sure you put your system responsiveness to gaming, especially since we are playing Rocket League, but even if you don't game, it's best to put it on gaming because it is the quickest. Next you want to put disabled, enabled. And then you want to put this to disabled, large system cache, default, and you want to put the size to default. Now the max user port, you want to just follow along here. You want to put 65534 and top time to what delay? 30. Now that is done, you want to click apply changes and you do want to click yes here. I click no because I'm just recording a video. I do hope you have enjoyed that video and I'm sure it will help you and hopefully fix more latency variation. I will be uploading more and I'm going to be uploading some more latency variation videos so make sure you do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.